Welcome back guys. There's another winter storm warning happening right now and this is no puny storm like last week. We're talking about a potential for a four foot 12 hour storm cycle. If that were to deliver here in the Lassen Mountains in California, that would potentially set the record for the most powerful and most accumulation ever recorded in a 12 hour period in the great state of California. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm headed up to some of the cool geothermal stuff uh, here in Lassen Volcanic National Park. Um, I've never been here in the winter before, but as soon as I saw that winter storm warning, I couldn't help myself. I always have to go seek out wherever the snow falls the hardest. And today, it's right here in Northern California. This entire park is built on top of a group of volcanoes here at the southern extreme of the Cascade Mountains. And so, of course, there's a lot of volcanic activity like that. It smells very sulfuric, more, more even than your average hot spring. Well, this area is spectacular, but it's supposed to get dark in like half an hour. I've got quite the winter storm to prepare for. I'd rather be doing that before calamity ensues. As you all know, prepared is my middle name. I've never once waited to get stuck to put chains on. I have done that once or twice, maybe. But since I know how much snow there's going to be out there, and I know I'm going to need them to get out anyways, I might as well put them on it before I get snowed in. in my previous video but at this current point I haven't actually uploaded it yet um, for any meal suggestions for more intricate foods but since I told my mom and since that side of my family is French they rained down suggestions and the one they decided that I'm gonna do tonight is Boeuf Bourguignon. My mom emailed me the recipe she wants me to follow. I got I think most of that stuff just just like any other stew Tailler le bœuf en cuve de 3-4 cm, pelouse oignon. Alright, let's get out all the things I'm gonna need. I'm also gonna make chocolate covered strawberries because I've got nothing to do for a while, and I even think that in the morning I might still eat them because I think it'll take a. The snow's not really supposed to stop until around 11 or noon, um, so I'll have time to hang out, so that'll give me something to snack on. Okay, with a bunch of clean dishes. It's such a brilliant idea to have this whole counter space on the other side because I use it all the time and I don't feel like a lot of vans do. I hate bacon bags. They're just not designed for being resealed at all. They're basically done once you open them. They're just greasy. And just poor design. Got that heater cranking. It's getting quite warm in here. And yes, I know I'm wearing the exact same thing that I always wear. <laughs> that other snowstorm was just like two days ago. So. Next up we've got these little baby onions. I guess pearl onions is what they're really called. Look how cute these little things are. Cute little onion ball. Look at those little onion balls. Salt those beef cubes up. For some reason that little one is refusing to start. Let's give it a little. Let it 
pretty good at smelling a potent right there. Alright, let's add the beef. I don't, I don't know how much I'll do. I'll probably do two thirds of it. It's looking ready for the stewing stage. So. Some Merlot, a little wine. I, I've i never even tasted alcohol in my entire life. Not gonna be this time either because I'm just gonna be cooking it away. Um, but this was the first time I've ever bought alcohol at a store, for myself at least. <laughs> but yeah, it was the first time. I, it's just not my cup of tea. Am I supposed to put this right away? Yes. So I do have an update on the weather forecast and how that compares historically. Um, what I've learned is that, yes, if it does reach that top end of four feet in 12 hours, which is unlikely, but it could happen, that will be a record. Um, however, even the low end will absolutely shatter the November record. So that's some exciting stuff. While I wait for that to boil, it's already been like over an hour. But still got some more to go. Begin my little Christmas decorations. I mean, look at how cute that is. That will fit perfectly right there and be my little Christmas tree. Something I would love to do is get little ornaments from the places I go, but it's not like there's that much time. And if I find something from the Lassen Volcanic area, maybe I'll put it on there, but for now, we've got these little ornaments, these little tiny baby ornaments that I think will look very cute on the little baby tree. Got some ornaments on there now so this thing doesn't get destroyed every time I take a turn. I'm going to put some Velcro underneath it and stick it to the counter. There we go, and I can still reach all that stuff. Little Christmas cheer in the van. Maybe it's a little tacky, I thought it was cute. Might as well make those strawberries too. Chocolate covered strawberries that is. It's got by far the best chocolate chips money can buy. I'm going to let the stew sit here for a minute because it just gets too hot and too much evaporates out. Alright, look at that. Luckily, I don't need to put them in the fridge or anything. I can just go... Put them on the dashboard. Oh wow, is the windshield already covered in snow? I was outside just a second ago. It wasn't snowing yet, but I guess yeah, 10 p.m. is when it was supposed to start. Oh wow. Yeah, we've already got some good snow coming down. Maybe the storm's gonna deliver. <laughs> All right, we've got heat blasting. We've got snow falling, and we've got dinner. A little hot. Tastes like beef stew. You want to try one of these though. Mm. Those are very good. Little balls of boiling water, but this is more a meal that I think I'll make simplified version in the hot tent. Maybe on those really cold, you know, 
negative 10, negative 20 degree nights that we'll be getting in January and February. Yeah, let me know if you want to see me make a make some food on the on the wood stove in a hot tent because that could be fun. And I made a stew last time. Um, it's definitely the right kind of meal because you got the fire going the whole night, anyways. Just walked out to the bathroom, <laughs> and it is dumping on us right now. This is excellent. Look at all that snow. It's a great bathroom though. <laughs> There's the van. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, now I get to enjoy those probably well hardened chocolate covered strawberries I made. Look at that. Mm. That Giardelli chocolate. So good. So the hardest snow now says it's actually going to be around 8 a.m. Um, between 6 and 8 a.m. it's going to be a 3 inch and then a 4 or 5 and then another 3 inch hour. Um, so I'm not going to try to wake up early or anything. There's no point in trying to dig myself out when it's just filling back in. So instead I'll wake up when I wake up, probably sometime around 8. And then we'll see <laughs> what the aftermath of this storm looks like outside. I'm pretty excited. Good night, guys. I know it's been snowing like crazy. I'm actually kind of excited to see. Oh, well. That's a good start. If the sliding door won't even open. Yeah, I might have to crawl through a window here. Let's see what I can do at the front. past my knees. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. This is easily the most snow I've ever seen fall in 12 hours. And it is dumping right now. <laughs> Look at all of this. This is just insane. And it is coming down so hard right now too. Look at the size of this drift. It's probably coming down an inch and a half an hour. I can feel the pace of the snow. <laughs> See, this is part of the benefit with being in a more civilized national park setting. The plow's making his passes. And the thing is, I want to get out of here actually sooner rather than later, even though it is probably going to snow another foot at least. Um, because there's another storm cycle coming quite soon after. And plowing is done mostly in the morning. So if there's too much snow on the road, I could be stuck here through that one and having another three feet of snow drop on the van is a little precarious. coming down at just an absurd rate, but the plow just went out. But if he comes back up, I don't know if he'll, he'll probably be able to fit around me, but barely. 
that's why I want to get down sooner rather than later so I can still see where the road is. Alright, made it into a pullout on the more major highway. So now I can take these chains off because I can drive through this no problem and drive into a town in some place where I can clean the rest of this off the car and clean all the water out of the car too. Out of the van, sorry, I still call it a car. <laughs>